Roy Cohn was the reason my parents were convicted and executed. The last place I saw your grandparents was Sing Sing. Going to Sing Sing is a way of connecting to that 10 year old. I read The Judgment of Julius and Ethel Rosenberg, and there was a reference to Roy Cohn, and I'd already heard about him because of McCarthy. To call Roy Cohn evil, it's true, but it doesn't explain a hundred other things about him. Every era has an opportunist, somebody who will stretch the law and ethics to make the ends justify the means. Roy knew how to get permits taken care of, unions to do your bidding, the mafia to leave you alone. He would do whatever he needed to to win. I found out one thing in life. Don't ever threat unless you intend to follow through. That is how to wield power. Donald Trump, he said, you stand up to the establishment. And I come see it. The whole point was to resist. Never admit that you're wrong. Trump fell in love with that. On talk shows, he's nerdy and creepy, but very sort of lawyerly, polite. He came from a certain generation where you obviously couldn't be openly gay. Many people were shocked that Roy Cohn appeared in Provincetown, which is probably the world's leading summertime gay community. The only place I ever saw him was in Front Street. People that owned it, he said, well, I just always spit in his food every time I serve it. I would have done more than spit. He wanted to make himself this indispensable power broker, sort of like the original fixer. What do you say to people who say you ruin people's lives? I say name one.